Uh, hello and welcome. We are the Water Freedom team. Stefan, customer developer. Atle, business model developer. Karen, Elizabeth, innovator. And me, product developer. Over 1 billion of people don't have access to the clean water right now. 30,000 people die every week because of water-related diseases. Water is used everywhere for cooking, agriculture, and it can't be replaced as easy as electricity or oil. Water problem is very important these days, and there is a lot of people in organization who are trying to solve it. And we believe that if problem affects more than one billion of people, it's worth solving, and it creates a lot of good business opportunities globally. To solve water problem, you need some special skills. And we believe that if you compare Norway to all other countries, Norway has everything to have a fair chance to succeed. For decades, Norway built high competence in complex engineering. We have a lot of skilled people, and most importantly, it became a trustworthy negotiator and partner for many different countries. And um, on a personal level, Norwegian volunteers are well known around the world as people who always tried and fight to raise human standards in the, the different areas. And those unfair advantages are very important. Our project focuses on areas where water demand is very high. We can make, and where we can make a huge change for the people's lives and for the better. And problem is vary from areas to areas, but the most common is in t villages and towns where they are decentralized. Usually those areas are left behind their government because they are not able to support them. And the only person who can do something there is a village chief without power or resources. And he always needs to satisfy demands and supply and also communicate with locals and the government and external organization. And his only hope is external organization. And they usually help. They help by providing finance, build something, or hire, hire someone to build it. But after operation left, there is no knowledge transfer to the local people. So they don't know what they can do if well dries or something is broken. And uh, local organization also not really interested in sustainable solution. They always try to enter resources, and they have to uh, then they have to drill deeper and deeper, and solve this somehow. And local people have to pay more and more every time. But water is simple. There are many ways how to solve this problem, and uh, we believe that organization right now they only solve the symptoms. They give people fish instead of teaching them how to fish. So from our point of view, the biggest problem is that there is no knowledge transfer and local people are not involved in uh, the operation. Instead of plug and pray, external company gives them something which is plug and pray because no one knows when it's going to fail and how to fix. So from our research, we believe that if we involve local people, we will be able to solve this problem. But involve them not only by asking, but making them as partners and be responsible for things they created together. And we think that our Norwegian unfair advantage is the key. Norway has a very successful rate of finished project, su uh, very uh, knowledgeable people, and he can, Norway can work in some places where other countries cannot because of different political reasons. But engineering solution is not enough. We need to find the root of the problem. And as you saw today, Moonwalk system is perfect fit for that because as many other pro projects saw today, they're able to find the root of the problem and real cost. And we are going to apply this innovation system to solve that. We won't rely on government for the finance. We will need support from the village chief for the contact with the locals and the uh, upper government. We also need externals and local people to work with us on site and remotely. And we will organize them in the crowdfunded, crowdsource programs. And uh, to start, we need support from the village chief to introduce us to the locals. And um, Water Freedom will facilitate in that. Everything looks very nice in the paper, but do we have a proof? We decided to use Kenya as a for the pilot. 
And we already have letter of intent signed by two village chiefs who control about 100,000 inhabitants. We interviewed 10 people both locally and externally, and they all know that there will be money and work involved in order to participate. And um, we need three people in Norway and two people on each side. We will divide the project in two years and divide them in four semesters. And to run it, we need about 100,000 USD per year. And crowdfunding, crowdsource money we'll use to cover travel costs and other uh, needs related to that. And this system can be used not only for the water. This system can be used for all other businesses. And in our, our goal is for the first semester, we will create teams, combine them in, cr in innovation without border teams. And uh, they will focus on innovation related to the water, and they must come up with a successful business. For the second semester, we will validate those ideas from the fir first semester. And third semester, we will build a pilot. And fourth semester, we will improve operation. And afterwards, we will create a success successful business for people and us. Uh, because we will going to be a partner there, depending on the shares, etc. Can you imagine a world without very water scarcity? And you was so someone who helped us to solve this problem. Thank you.